not know this, but May is actually Mental Health, Health, Health Awareness Month. And that, of course, means something different to everyone. But during this time of social isolation, the very act of feeling isolated can have a bigger toll on our bodies and our minds. And so joining us right now is someone who is new to our show, but we're so excited that she's here to, to tell us all about this. Her name is Kate Spees, and she is with uh, Well and Good. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. First and foremost, tell us a little bit about the website. I've gone on it. It's first of all, it's a beautiful website, but it really is so user friendly in helping us understand little things we can do every day for our mental health. So can you just tell us a little bit about it first? Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Well and Good is the wellness lifestyle website and it's really dedicated to helping people feel their very best mind body and spirit and we've been around for 10 years but we're really finding that through this pandemic we hope that we're more useful than ever in helping people really protect their mental wellness I, I love this, and we, we've actually been teeing this up all morning, that you are giving your, your users a mental health challenge. Tell us what that is. This is the second year that we have run our mental health challenge. It's something that's really important to us because we really believe that no matter where you are on the spectrum of your mental wellness, whether you're suffering a mental health condition or you're just someone who needs to practice more stress management, that protecting that part of yourself is so integral to your well-being. And so this is a month-long challenge with small daily tasks designed to help you protect your mental wellness. These things are easy, they're free, and we really want this to be a resource for people to find a little bit of relief through this very, very difficult time. And it's designed to be done with friends, with your children. It's really accessible and can be done by anyone. So Kate, what are some specific tips that people can do, uh, both large and small, every day? Some of my favorites are, there's one in particular that was recommended to us by a psychotherapist called Leah Abilene. She's based here in New York. And it's based around worry time and dream time because given what's going on, I think it's really tricky to expect people to not feel stressed and anxious about what we're all facing together. And so this exercise is designed that so that you can capsulate that worry time, that you intentionally spend 15 minutes or maybe it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes every morning, letting yourself go down that worry spiral. But then you write the thoughts down, you process them, you get them out of your body, so to speak, and you really cut yourself off after that 15 minutes, knowing that you can go back and access those thoughts if you need to, but that you've had that time to worry and that you really end it there. And then later in the day, scheduling the same amount of dream time, which means you think about the future, you think about all the things that make you happy. And it's just really a way to bookend those emotions and make sure that the worry isn't spreading through your entire day. And Kate, I know you have a whole list of other uh, daily tips and we're running out of time, but I just wanted to point them out. One was finding a joyful space. You also offer online classes and you say to celebrate the small wins. Um, and I also understand that you have a charitable component uh, to everything that you're encouraging your users to do. Can you tell us about that? We do. So we have partnered with the app Happy Not Perfect to create this challenge. You can find the challenge on wellandgood.com, but also in the Happy Not Perfect app. And 50% of app, new app subscriptions, 50% of that money will go to the National Council of Behavioral Health COVID-19 Relief Fund. It was really important for us to be able to give back during this time. Kate Spees of Well and Good, thank you so much for all of that. And uh, I hope our viewers will be encouraged to do those daily tips. Thanks again.